So this is a really exciting time to be in the self-driving space. We haven't seen a disruption this significant since the transition between the horse and buggy and the Model T. And for the last 100 years, the automotive industry has designed automobiles around one thing, the driver. And today, our cars drive themselves. It feels like self-driving cars are all the rage these days. But this technology has really been around and under development for over a decade, going back to the DARPA Grand Challenges in the early 2000s. So in 2004, there was the first DARPA Grand Challenge. And we and a lot of other folks competed in that challenge and did awful. And the furthest team went about seven miles. In 2005, we participated in the second DARPA challenge and finished eighth and ninth. During these challenges, the majority of the research was being done in universities and government programs and government labs like DARPA. We saw the opportunity to commercialize this technology and bring it to a wider audience. That's why we founded Torque. So after the DARPA Grand Challenges, DARPA put forth a much more challenging competition called the DARPA Urban Challenge. In the Urban Challenge, we were tasked with the first realistic challenge of self-driving vehicles to operate in a complex, dynamic urban environment with real vehicle traffic, intersections, and buildings. So the Urban Challenge was an incredibly complex event and that's obvious from from the results there were 89 teams that originally applied to take part of the challenge and of those 89 only three teams actually completed the course in the allotted time it was really a kitty hawk moment for our industry it was the birth of an industry all of the key players in the field really come back to the darpa urban challenge uh, and the fact that we were able to keep our team together since then is a huge benefit for us so over the last 10 years, we've gone through a lot of iterations of our technology, and we've deployed it on the mining side, on the defense side, and on the automotive side. And one major advantage with this approach is we can take a lesson learned from one market, and we can port that lesson over to another market, simply because the lessons that we learn in all three markets roll up into our core IP. On the defense side, our warfighters were being faced with a new challenge. IEDs, roadside bombs targeting convoy supplies and unarmored vehicles well behind the enemy lines. With our technology, we could take our human warfighters out of those situations and keep them safe. We did this by building a self-driving vehicle that could use advanced sensors to sweep the road ahead for explosives. We also built a self-driving Humvee that could take the human drivers out of the lead vehicle of a convoy. In mining, Caterpillar was a huge proponent for bringing this technology in and improving the efficiency of their mines. Self-driving vehicle technology in a mine site brought operators out of dangerous situations and allowed these systems to continue to operate over longer periods of time. These early projects continued to build upon and refine the core IP developed during the DARPA challenges. As sensors got better, uh, our software was able to take advantage of better data. As computing power has increased, we were able to incorporate more advanced algorithms into the software. And as our software has gotten better, we've been able to redesign the hardware layout on the vehicles. This cyclical build, test, learn process, and so far we've had over 160,000 iterations to our software, isn't just for research. We've taken what we've developed and applied it to the commercial space by partnering with innovative, forward-looking companies. Torque has developed the full end-to-end -end software stack. This allows us to dive in and determine the root cause when we see uh, an unexpected behavior or encounter uh, a complex traffic situation that we haven't seen before, uh, allowing us to improve our software um, faster and more accurately. So outside of our commercial contracts, we also invest very heavily in research and development. In Project Asimov, we are pushing the boundaries on self-driving technology by exposing our technology to the countless corner cases that are out there. The Asimov team is focused on integrating the latest developments in machine learning and artificial intelligence with the more traditional approaches proven in over a decade of use at Torque. Algorithms such as convolutional neural networks for perception or reinforcement learning for behaviors are well suited for dealing with the complex scenarios encountered on the roads, but are challenging to guarantee that they react in a safe and predictable manner. By pairing these technologies uh, with more proven techniques, we are able to improve the capabilities of our software without compromising the safety or reliability of the vehicles. 
We're currently testing these vehicles on public roads across the U.S. from coast-to-coast -coast trips at interstate speeds to the varied environmental and weather conditions that we see around the office in Blacksburg to the really dense traffic seen on the streets of Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a great environment to test in from complicated multi-lane intersections to out-of-town drivers uh, that often disregard the rules of the road to lots of distracted pedestrians. All of these different situations uh, have allowed us to build a large library of test cases that we use to improve our software and really allow the vehicles to get smarter the more different situations that they see. One of the things that really excites me is going from a pioneer of this technology to working on this technology every day for the last decade. We're going to continue to work on this technology, commercialize the technology, and we're incredibly excited about what the future holds. Thank you.